slash low carb chicken nachos. They were amazing. This is how I made them. Started with some avocado oil and some low carb tortillas. I'll cut the low carb tortilla into eights so that they're triangles like chips. Heat up the avocado oil and drop them right in. You can also make these in the air fryer, but every now and then I do like to fry them. They taste so good. Once they're done, I pulled them out of the oil and sprinkled them with coarse salt. To me, this makes the best low carb chips. Now I'm going to use some Tyson grilled and ready chicken breast strips. Pour a little avocado oil and add the chicken into the wok. Now I'll dice a red onion and green peppers. Now to season the chicken, we'll make some homemade taco seasoning with pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, ground cumin, and red pepper flakes. Once the chicken is seasoned, I added a little more avocado oil and added in those diced peppers and onions. Give that a good mix and let the seasonings get incorporated throughout. And then I'm going to add one third cup of water. Pour that in, add the lid and let that simmer. Once it cooks down, the vegetables will be soft and the chicken will be fully cooked. Now I'll take the chicken out and set it to the side so that I can use the wok with all of that flavor to make my nacho cheese sauce. For the sauce, I used one tablespoon of butter and let that melt and mix it around to gather all of that seasoning. And then I added in some heavy whipping cream. I'd guess about a half a cup. Then mix that around and get all of those seasonings incorporated. As that begins to thicken, I added a little bit of jalapeno pepper juice, gave that a good mix, and then it was ready to add the cheese. I had some freshly grated pepper jack cheese and sharp cheddar, and I just added that in and mixed it up real well, get those seasonings mixed in, and let it thicken. Now I just put the low-carb tortilla chips on a plate and layered it with the taco seasoned chicken, bell pepper, and onions, and then topped it with the nacho cheese. This was so simple to make and so flavorful. I added a little sour cream to the top of mine. You could definitely add more toppings if desired. This was so 